huge updates in the morning session of week two of the Tory Lanez trial. The one independent witness, the homeowner who was at the house right in front of this shooting will testify this afternoon. The defense is calling him as a witness. The prosecution didn't call him. That's a shame. Number two, the judge allowed rap lyrics into evidence. That's a huge shame. Let me tell you, not just did they let the rap lyrics come in, the rapper is not even here. They're using a rap song allegedly done by Kelsey. Kelsey is not here to testify about the lyrics. Instead, the judge allowed an investigator to say, I heard the song, this is what it says. Here's evidence for this case. Unbelievable. The only thing more shameful was the prosecution's presentation of the rap lyrics using one of their investigators. Let me show you how that went down. Let me tell you what this investigator did on the stand today. And somebody call the governor because first off, the rap lyrics should never have been used. And this investigator should, not, I mean, let me tell you, listen to this, it's absurd. So then the prosecutor says, hey, doesn't in this song, doesn't it say, isn't this Kelsey rapping that, oh, I didn't shoot you, you should clear my name. And the investigator's like, yes, Okay, defense goes up. Hey, in this song, doesn't Kelsey also rap about Meg is lying to the DA and Meg is lying to her manager and that her manager, somebody named Dez, is making threats on Kelsey? And the investigator's like, no, I don't know. Can you show me playing dumb? And the guy's like, wait, didn't you come here to testify about what this song says, but you can't answer any of my questions on the stuff that doesn't fit your narrative, basically? So the prosecutor comes back on and says, hey, wait, but all that stuff about lying, there's only one mention of lying with the DA, isn't there? And so this investigator is like, yeah, there's only one. Okay, now the defense goes on. Hey, wait, I just asked you, can you tell me about all the other mentions of lying? You said you don't know, you have to review the whole song. But when the prosecutor came up and asked you to confirm there's just one, you just jumped out of your seat and were like, yes. How does all your memory come back about the song when the prosecutor asks you questions, but you know nothing when I ask you? A very, very fair point from the defense. Look, we'll see what the eyewitness has to say, but like I said, somebody call the governor. Using rap lyrics of the defendant, where the defendant can actually defend himself against the lyrics is one thing. Using the rap lyrics of another rapper where that rapper is actually in court and you can ask him questions about what the song is after the prosecution uses it is another thing. Using rap lyrics about a song that we don't even know who wrote it, who's singing it, some investigator says they found it on the internet, is a whole other thing. And then, when that investigator decides to have selective memory, just like Meg and Kelsey, whenever the defense asks them a question about a song that they were, their sole job, the only reason they're here is to listen to that song, come to court and testify it. But you don't remember a single line about, oh, I'm lying, about, oh, managers are threatening me, about, oh, the, you don't remember any of the stuff that's a neutral investigation. That's what's going on, California. Get out. All right, subscriber only update. Check this out. One. Yeah. Say what's up to everybody. All right, real quick. All right, we're gonna do another subscriber update, but real quick, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. He's not guilty. No. What are we talking about? Not guilty. <laughs> I got to run. I got to run. All right. So look. <laughs> All right, we gotta get it. <laughs> Uh, he didn't do it. And that, my friends, is giving reasonable so doubt. If reasonable doubt was a conversation, an Instagram post, a video depiction, that's what reasonable doubt looks like. All right, number one, they're still looking for the security guard. The prosecution said, judge, we're looking for him. We think we can get him. Give us another day. Meg's security guard still might testify. Number two. There's an issue with a juror. In the morning session, the prosecution raised to the judge that, hey, we've got an issue with a juror. The prosecution would love if that juror had an issue and can't continue. I think the defense will be very sad if that juror has an issue and can't continue. 